Hi, and welcome back to Valheim. So we're going to do a couple of things today. So what we want to do is get some storage put over at the other location, make an axe and put the cauldron together. Yes, those are what we're looking at. So to make the axe, we need two leather scraps, eight bronze. Okay, so that is going to be the fun. So let me see if we go into... Okay, here we go. Um... Okay, so it's one tin each, so we need eight of you. I hear you up there, buddy. Where are you? Okay. <laughs> he knows better. Oh, he's coming back for more. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yeah, don't don't smack my things. Please don't. So I put another smelter out because I had to get all the stuff smelted. We made some coal, so that's all good. Okay, so we needed some bronze, so uh, we need you. Yes, I know we're carrying too much. That's okay. So we're going to do five, six, and one more. Oh, that is perfect. We also need some of these. Yeah, we'll just take that. Why not? Bronze axe, here we come. Awesome. Okay, so that's going to be so much better than what we already have. So how about we take this? Uh, no, we're going to put this all away. We're just going to clean up our inventory here for a second. Um, You can go in there. And you can go in there. I've got no room for raspberries. Oh, dear. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, we're swapping that out. Uh, you... I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. Here, you can sit in here for now. We're gonna figure out at some point. So, now we have that. And with that, we should be able to start taking down the birch trees. Which is going to give us the fine wood. And that fine wood should open up a couple of things. Including the boat that we're looking for. So, here, let's take this one down. Oh! Okay, <laughs> I guess that was already ready to come down. <laughs> Perfect. Come on, fine wood. There we go. So we've got the fine wood bow, a tankard, a forge cooler. Okay. Oh, wow. The portal. The portal. Yes. The carve? Okay, that's what we're talking about. Oh dear, like I said, it's going to open up a few things. <laughs> the fermenter, we're going to need that. Okay, well, you know what? We did that. That is great. So we want to go and put together a couple of other things. So we're going to do... Yeah, don't, 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 don't bug me. Not right now, buddy. I'm trying to work here. They're just trying to break all my stuff, so I might have to put some fencing up soon just to stop that. But yeah, I want to put together some storage over there. Uh, here. So we're going to take that, that, and we'll put you in there for now. Uh, the rest of the stuff, I've been trying to keep us somewhat organized, but uh, yeah, about that. We know how that works. Okay, um, can I take another stack of wood? You know what? We'll start with that. Okay, so I did put together the shelving. So we are going to make the little cubby hole. Ah, the little cubby holes for them. So that is what we're going to work on today. So what we need to do is uh, grab you. And we're going to put together together i'm gonna start with putting like the beams up in between so here we're gonna put these down first and then we're gonna remove these and replace them with something else after and you so yeah i just want to get these like at every spot that we can just to make it look interesting good And yeah, okay. 
So what I want to do now is just remove these little ones underneath because we're not going to need those now. Uh, and you. Uh, it's going to be nice to get the cauldron because uh, as soon as we do that, we're going to be opening up some more recipes. So yeah, more things being opened today. Uh, here. Now we might not have enough stuff to make everything because I think we're going to open up stuff for carrots possibly. Or no, we don't have carrots yet, so maybe not. Hard to say. We'll find out. Okay, and we're going to put these across. Go. I might have to change, take out a couple of beams like this one here because of the way it's crisscrossing. So let me see if I could fix it. Oh, okay. We need to fix that. Um, yeah, it's not going to change. That's fine. It's okay. We don't have to have it change. Do we have a workbench? I should hide one in there, but it doesn't look like I have one in here. I think it's outside. So we'll just go and replace it over here. Okay. You, we're going to go here. We're going to fix our axe because, well, that's where we have to go to fix it. And I've got 32 pieces of wood left. That is fine. So we need more of you. So just imagine each one of these holes is going to have uh what do you call it their um storage unit nope nope not there will we be able to do all the storage today probably not but that'll be okay we're gonna have our axe we can go cut down some more trees cut them down a little quicker and it should last a little longer than the other one was. So that's going to play a good role in getting wood quickly. Okay, so that is good. How much do I have left here? Let's just go to that. Four pieces is not going to do it. Stay away from my stuff, buddy. Come on out. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I should pick this up. There we go. Okay, so I put some coal together because I'm going to need it to make some signs. If I have enough wood, that is. Uh, we'll take that, that, and half of you. I don't trust those guys. Okay, let's go see what we've got going. Uh, furniture. So we're going to turn them this way. And what we're going to do is we're just going to slide them on in. So we don't want to put them too far back, but we want them to like just peek like that. And if all goes well, it's going to look beautiful. Now to get to the top ones, it's going to take a little bit more maneuvering things around. We'll have to step on top of things, but we will get it to fit. Do I have to crouch down or something? Can you? Yeah, there we go. Oh, uh, so it's going to be so much storage. This should last us at least to swamp, maybe into plains. Yeah, just remember, this is not permanent. This is just for now. Um, yeah, that's a little too much. What can I get rid of? There, let's put you there. And we'll take half of you. That's like dead on. I can't wait to place the cauldron. Oh, and we have to make a cultivator so we can start planting too. I'm going to check to see if we have everything for that. So again, this is not going to be perfect. This is just going to look good though. <laughs> That's all we need.
then I could sit here and organize because I feel so lost when I'm looking at my boxes. We've got food everywhere. So this is going to have like everything separated. Mushrooms are going to be in one, you know, and everything like that. We'll have them labeled. We'll know what's where. Could eat another bite. Uh, there we go. Well, it looks like I'm going to be able to take the rest of that. And that is all the wood that I have. But like I said, that is quite okay. We can always go and get some more. We have our axe, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, I think some of those are a little far back, but like I said, it's not going to be perfect. Good. And that gives me 61. I don't know if I want to try pushing some more. I think that's a good start. Do I, I don't have the coal on me. If I go get the coal, two plus one coal, that will give us some signs that we could use. Okay, we're going to go and do that. Uh, coal, coal. Where did I put you? There you are. 25 signs. That should be more than enough. We'll just have to make sure we put them in properly because uh, there's a right way and a wrong way of placing these. So when you're looking at them, make sure the dots are facing you. If they're not, that is the wrong way. So here, let's put you... Okay. We will place, I guess, all 25. And that'll be a good start on getting organized here. Or at least trying to get organized. <laughs> Perfect. I do love having these signs. They work so well. Okay. Uh, 11 more. Perfect. If I have to fix anything, I will. But right now, I think we're looking pretty good. Just trying to keep it, like, in that halfway point. Uh, you... So what we're going to do next is we're going to go and put the cauldron together. Oh, we're missing. Okay, so we're missing coal. That is quite okay. Uh, we've got like 11 pieces of wood left. So here. Let's just get some fire going in here. I think I'm going to go and grab our workbench. Wait. Where is our workbench? Oh, did I place this upstairs? I'm not sure where I put it. Yeah, let's go see if there's one up here. Oh, there is one up here. Okay, that's perfect. I completely forgot about that. Awesome. Okay, so we've got those done. We've got that done. The cauldron, we needed, I think it was tin. I think it's like 10 tin or something like that. Look at all the stuff that we've got open now. This is looking great. A sconce. Ooh, okay. The deer rug. That's in furniture. Um, okay, nothing in there. Crafting, we've got the forge cooler. Uh, the anvils. And the fermenter. Yes, the fermenter is going to give us our potions. But this is what we're looking for. So we need 10 tin and a forge. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the forge from there, bring it on over here, and we are going to grab the 10 tin. So there we go. I think that's everything. And yeah, that is way too much. Uh, 10 of you. Okay, that works. I could put... Oh, I needed that. I needed that. Um, here. <laughs> I'm like, wait, no, that's for the forge. Uh, let's see. The forge we could place... I'm going to put it right here for now. Eat another bite. Okay. <laughs> we can always eat another bite, apparently. Okay, you look good there. Uh, 
And you can go over this beautiful fire right here. So let's see what it opens. Okay. Queen's jam, yes. I forgot about that. Um okay, so yeah, we have to get some carrots planted. So as soon as we harvest our first carrot, it's going to give us even more recipes and so on and so forth as we progress through everything. So what do we need for a cultivator? Uh let's see. Five bronze. I don't think I have enough for that right now. Uh, we don't. So we're going to have to think about that. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. So what we'll do in the meantime is we're going to look for a little area that we could place our garden. So I'm thinking probably like out here. So what I want to do is I want to fence that in 100% because we don't want anything to attack it. So what we're going to need for that is some wood. So how about we go and grab a little bit of wood? Yeah, I've got some room. We'll just head over here, cut down a couple of trees, and we'll start fencing it in. At least we'll have that part done. And what I'll do is I'll go grab some more copper. I don't know if I'm going to need some more tin, but we'll figure it out as well. So let's see how easy this is to cut down now. Yeah, look at the damage being done. <laughs> oh, that is perfect. Now, if we could take down a forest with that one, that would have been great, but it didn't happen. Don't come and bug me, guys. Don't come and bug me. Don't do it. I'm warning you. You're going to feel the end of my axe. Told you. <laughs> They don't listen. They never do. I don't know why. Hard headed, probably. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? I don't want to take out like these little ones. I just want to go for the big trees right now. Oh, we got a deer. But we could do fine wood, so that's going to help us out. So I should take down a couple of those trees as well. That'll give us fine wood, plus it'll give us some regular wood, so it's a an added bonus, right? But we're not too far from water, so we will be able to get a boat going in shortly. Um, portals, yeah, I'm going to have to check on that. So we're going to have to go hit up a couple of more of the chambers. Burial chambers, get some more of the startling cores. That's going to help us out quite a bit, so that way we can get a couple of portals going. Oh, we have our job cut out for us now. We're going to have to put defenses up because, well, again, we don't want them coming and, you know, smacking on our things like they were before because that's not going to be good for us. Oh, got some more raspberries. So we did find some of the mushrooms. Still looking for more. Eventually, we will find a good area just for that. Uh, wait. Yeah, we better head back. We'll dump a couple of things. I'm wondering if I should go get copper now so we can... No, I'm not going to get copper now. We'll just head back. Okay, so this little critter here uh, wants to have a little fight. So here, let's do it. We have to increase all our stats anyways. So. <laughs> Why not just have a little fist fight with him, right? So this works out for us. Uh, Yes, unload. We could start unloading into here. So how about... We take our torch out. Uh, we can call you... We'll call you fine... Yeah, that's not going to work. Fine wood. So we can put the fine wood in there. Uh, you're going to be wood. Um, we could do, like, fine wood. We could do wood... So you can go in here. We'll do like two wood, two fine wood, and so on and so forth. Oh, there goes my torch. Okay, this is not good. <laughs> Let's go see if we have a spare one hiding in here. Not sure if we do. 
I want to say we don't. No, we don't. Okay. Oh, and we have core wood that we're going to have to go and get some of. Yes. That's going to help us out with a couple of things as well. And... Oh, uh, here. Take, uh, I think one of you just to make a torch. Oh, we've got a couple on me. What am I doing? Here, we'll take you as well. You can go in there. You can go in there. We've got, like, so much happening. Oh, I can't wait till we're completely organized. <laughs> and you can go in here. Okay, let's go get a couple of torches going. What else can we make? I've seen the sconce. Uh, furniture. Oh, we've got the standing torch. Okay, that is what we're going to do right now. I'm going to go and put the standing torch in side of here. So that was uh, some resin. I've got two resin right now and a little bit of wood. Uh, where can we place you? I want to say like right... You know what? We'll place it right at the window here. And we can place you right at the window. And we're going to have to go and get some more resin. But you know what? That is a start. So that's going to help us out. You could take this beautiful wood. And we're going to go cut down a couple of more trees. Now, there's not usually like a whole big batch of birch trees all around. So, well, not in this biome anyways. So you're going to have to go out and look for them. But it's quite okay. Uh, here, we'll take some of that. We really need a lot of wood. We've got so much more storage to do. Uh, I'm gonna have to make so much more coal. And coal takes one wood each. So yeah, we've got so much, so much. Oh, here. No, I don't want to take you down. I want you to break. When they get in awkward areas like this, it's kind of hard sometimes. Good. There we go, two at a time. And come on. There we go. Make sure it doesn't land on you, because that's gonna hurt. You're good. Perfect. Oh, buddy. You don't stand a chance. <laughs> Um, uh-oh. Not what I wanted to do. Okay. Like, I didn't want to clear this area, but it looks like we might end up doing a little... There's so many deer here, and they just don't know where to go. I have to go rescue this log. Well, by rescue, I mean cut it. We don't want it lying around. No, oh, last thing I want you to do right now is drown. Yeah, we want that resin. Free resin? I could put another torch? That's good. Uh, yeah, let's try that again. How many are we going to take down doing this? Um. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, no more is coming down. That's perfect. Uh, we have a little bit of room, so we might be able to take these out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that hurt us a little bit, I think. We'll be okay. We've got this. Yeah, no more. No, don't take down anymore. <laughs> kind of need to have some forest around here. Uh, we're almost full. And we're gonna have to go and repair this, so... There we go. Yeah, we're full. Uh, base is that way. I'll come back and grab that after. So we got 14 more fine wood. That's not so bad. 
Come on. I love this location. So we're going to put the fine wood away and then what we're going to do is... Here, you can go in here. And we're going to go and start putting out a fence line for where we want our... What do you call it to be? Well, I'm probably going to have to level this out first. Yeah, we're going to have to level this. I do have my hoe. I have everything else we're going to need. Let's get rid of some of these rocks. Now, I'm not going to make like a huge garden or anything. Not now anyways, but eventually we will. Once we get the turnips, the onions, that's going to be awesome. Plant everything. Go. Looking good. We don't have any room on us. That is fine. We'll figure that out. And I need you. So I want to put it to about, I guess this level would be good. So we'll just dig out. Bring it all to about the same height. Again, it's just a garden, so it doesn't have to be like super huge or anything. Okay, that looks good. And I don't think we're going to be able to flatten that too much more. Okay, that works for me. Um, I can't pick it up here. So we're going to put... Uh, where's those fences? Here, we're going to start with you first. And we're going to put these. So this should help protect our garden from being attacked. Hopefully, anyways. Now, is it going to look perfect? No, I am so not good at placing these, but we're going to do our best. Uh, here, you. Start working back this way. I want to try to go straight, but I don't think it's going to work too well. There, you're good. Will they be able to get over that? I have no clue. I'm hoping not. Yeah, look at that. I, I'm already going off. I am so bad at this. Uh, here. And you. I think I'll put a gate up here so that we can get through. Uh, gate. Gate. I think it's going to have to be like a door. Um, yeah, that's straight. Back. Okay. Have you all sorted out here. Eventually, we will make it so that it looks great, but that might not be for a little bit. This is just to get us started. Get us better recipes, better health, everything like that. That is what the end game is all about. So, let's uh, put you there. Okay, that works for me. So now I should be able to remove you. And we got room for you. Awesome. Go. I think that works. So yeah, we just need to get a cultivator and uh, all will be perfect with that. Now, if we go and check out the jerky and, well, whatever we can make here. Uh, let's see. So the beef jerky is, or the boar jerky. It's one boar meat, one honey. So you get two pieces of those. It gives you 23 health, 23 stamina. And what we're using right now for stamina is... The mushrooms, which is 15 health, 15 stamina, and this gives 35 stamina. So if we use one of these with that boar jerky, it's going to give us better than what this is. So that's going to be good. But then we have the queen's jam, which is, yeah, eight raspberries, six blueberries. That gives 40 stamina, but only 14 health. So we're going to have to watch what we're doing with our health and everything like that. It's going to take a little bit. The mead, we can't make... Well, we can make the mead, but we can't do anything with it until we get the fermenter. 
So we're going to have to look at that as well. So what we're looking towards is getting the poison started very soon. Because what that's going to do is help us when we get to the swamp. Which we're not too far from. And then we have minor healing. So this could be good as well. And that's where all this stuff is going to come in. So yeah, we're going to have to get some more of everything. So more exploring to be done. Always, always, always more. Uh, here. You, you, and you. So let's see. The Queen's Jam. I really want to, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some of the boar jerky. So take... Yeah, that's not going to help us. Oh, why do I have... Yeah, you should be together. There we go. Where's the boar meat? There it is. And we have a bunch of honey on us, so yeah, you know how it goes. So we'll make some of that. We'll use that as soon as we use up all the rest of our cooked meat. Um. Okay, we'll make... Hmm. Not sure how much of this to make right now. Like, I don't want to go crazy on it. You know what? I think 10 is good to start with. So yeah, as you can see, this goes with this. So what it is is that they're balanced on health and stamina. This is a yellow fork, so that's more for stamina, and this is more for health. So yeah, we're going to have to try to find some kind of balance working for us. We will eventually. That's okay. We'll leave that as is. But I think I am going to end it there. And on that note, I wish you all a good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.